Okay. I'm uh, Dennis, I'm the bass player for Textures. Hey, I'm Steph, I'm the drummer in Textures. Okay, uh, you're a very young band, so maybe uh, you can or the, could uh, sum up your band history a little bit to uh, introduce your band to our German listeners a little bit. Well, actually, we started in 2001, by the end of the year. So the material was written quite quick. Yeah. But we knew the, the other guys, like Dennis, uh, he was from my former band. And Bart, uh, the guitar player, also was from our former band. Uh, so we knew each other quite a long time, so we knew what people were in the band and how they, you know, what the skills were of these people. So yeah. it was very easy to write uh, the material. Well, easy, easy. Um, but yeah, by the end of 2001, we we started to uh, record the first album, Polars. Yes. But we worked on it, uh, on the album, for uh, two years, till summer 2003. Yeah. And then the album was finally released. So we took a lot of time to uh, get it finished. But by the end, we were, you know, very uh, satisfied. With satisfied. It. Yeah. yeah. That's kind of the the short story before the first album. But yeah. after the first album, uh, you know, it broke. Yeah. <laughs> it was uh, quite a well a hype here in Holland. Okay. Uh, because yeah, like Dennis said, we did something different. Well, people thought we were doing something different but yeah the media and a lot of people were very enthusiastic and they invited us for a shows with Sepultura, Machina, uh, Meshuga and Dillinger Escape Plan as support yeah, um, really great. and that was awesome to play with all these bands because uh, yeah we love their music since we were 15 <laughs> years old or something like that so it was really cool to meet all the guys and uh, the Cavalera drummer and yeah, it was awesome Uh, after that, we uh, we toured a lot in Holland and in France and in UK, and especially in France and UK and here in Holland and Belgium. It's really going great. Yeah. A lot of people coming to the shows, and um, it's like a dream come true. It sounds cliche, but it is true. Yeah. So, um, what can you say about your musical background and some influences? So the f the fact is that we all have a kind of a universal taste not of, or a general taste but we, we respect all kinds of music yeah. while Jochem is listening to a lot of uh, uh, classical stuff he also listens to easy DC <laughs> and while Dennis is uh, listening to punk rock he also listens to well you name it and that counts for all the guys in the band we listen to uh, all kinds of things and respect all kinds of music from classical to hip-hop to reggae to Uh, African music to uh, classical music to uh, the darkest and deepest uh, black metal or whatever <laughs> and it's just the clue to keep uh, your mind uh, or your perspective yeah. very wide open and respect all that music and take the 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 good things of every of you know, of each style and put it into your own songs and that's what we try to do well we don't try to do that we do that by you know because it feels good or yeah if the impression you really know what you're doing on this album and the, 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 the first album was was the kind of experience so in which which direction you will go uh, first the album was really a statement yeah. Yeah. that we had to, to make because the album is very extreme well not you know like very rough but uh, extreme in the way of pushing uh, the levels of open-mindedness <laughs> or whatever <laughs> we uh, We put a lot of uh, very uh, soft or experimental soundscapes on it and we did some fusion parts and we did a lot of metal stuff and the whole album is like very uh, yeah, non-commercial or uh, a bit weird, the whole concept of the album. Yeah. But the new album is you know, a bit more focused on the songs. Uh, but still very experimental. We go from fusion to prog to death metal to thrash and pfft, in all directions. But that's the coolest part because after Polars, uh, the, the audience was like, whoa, textures is like, the, you know, very, uh, the range of styles is very big. So they could expect everything from us. So we could do everything that we wanted after Polars. And that was really, <laughs> yeah, really a great freedom to have. Yeah. 
songwriting process. The uh, piece is fit. The, the, the piece is fitted. <laughs> you know, we, yeah, as I wanted to tell, we very much believe in a story that's going on on the album. Not a story like blah 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 the wall and but a musical story. Yeah. I don't I don't know the, the word in English. In uh, in Holland we have this word spanningsboog. Which yeah, there is no word in English for that. I ask a lot of people yeah. for that, but there is no word for that. But you know what I mean. And we very much believe in that thing, the spanningsboog, spanningsboog, yeah. whatever, <laughs> going on on the album. So the album starts off very roughly with uh, Drive and Regenesis. Yeah. But in Regenesis, we introduce uh, a couple of new things to the metal. Yeah. Uh, some clean parts and uh, harmonies. and. At the third song, it's all also a metal song, very rough one. It's more groove based, but at the fourth song, Illumination, it's going a totally other direction. The yeah. third song flows into Illumination, uh, yeah, very dramatically, and Illumination is a very dramatic and gloomy song. Uh, it sounds a bit like Fate No More, very dark and not metal at all, but it fits perfectly into the whole uh, thing, the yeah. album. And then Illumination flows into a very um, stabby one, a very rough one, a stream of consciousness. And after that, there is, you know, another shift because we switch to uh, a yeah, very serene and quiet part upwards. Um, <coughs> well, I can tell you this maybe, uh, well, about the whole concept. Like stream of consciousness is a song about uh, waking up uh, and being conscious of everything around you, of your mm -hmm. senses. Yeah. And the coolest thing is that upwards, the song after it, the very quiet and more Pink Floyd-esque one, is it is very representative for that moment of clearness, for the moment of consciousness. So there is a relation between the music and the story okay. at that point, and that's what we really like. Yeah. And that's the whole, that's kind of an example of what's going on on the album. Okay. So uh, you're about to play um, a couple, yeah, many gigs in the next couple of weeks. So um, yeah. just as far as I know, just only one in Germany. Yes. In Cologne. Yeah, what, right what's again? going on with yeah. Germany? We don't I know, man. I ask you what's going on. <laughs> so what's the problem? Yeah, I don't know, but... <laughs> Do you think that Germans don't like you? <laughs> no, but uh, it's, I, it's I, I don't know. I, I, I think they don't even know us yet. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was really strange that uh, from the start of Texas, everybody said, "Oh, you have to go to Germany," and we finally released the album, and it was very uh, b booming here in in Holland. But it was also booming in France, and people like in France were yeah. like, "Whoa, Texas! Whoa, co come over here and play!" So we we <laughs> we gigged there a lot of time in France and also in the UK. And in Holland and Belgium, but Germany was like we heard nothing from that country. And uh, of course, we uh, did some promotion and we contacted a lot of bookers and stuff, but it <laughs> just didn't work out no. until now because we heard s some things are going on, and we we got a lot of good reviews in the uh, I don't I forgot the names of the magazines Rock Hard and yeah. okay. uh, Rock Sound, the German Rock Sound, I think. Also that one and a lot of other magazines and also web scenes and they are very enthusiastic but we, we played there just once in Trier and it wasn't <laughs> it was a cool gig but there were just a, a few amount of people it was very small yeah. so well I'm looking forward to playing <laughs> So in Germany. Best possibility for you to convince uh, our listeners to l why they have to listen to textures. <laughs> because so. it fucking rocks! <laughs> 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 no, because we're, you know, if you want to have, uh, to want to listen to a new refreshing band, I think we are refreshing because we don't bring you the, the standard, standard uh, songwriting or the standard metal album, but it, as I said, it differs from a Fate No More Pink Floyd-esque sound to a very extreme and uh, new math metal esque uh, songs, and I think that's the th the thing that makes Texas unique to combine all these elements and makes it our sound. So we have to answer this question: What's metal to you? It's music, lifestyle, something in between. A, a vibe which catches you and 
you like it and you don't know why, but you just have to like bang, you know? <laughs> you're, you're there and ah! Like splitting up your yeah. ass with a crowbar. <laughs> That's metal, man. <laughs> no, it's like with old music, it, it, it wakes up a feeling in, inside you.